Hey guys, welcome back to another day where we're reading in the Psalms, just getting into it, meditating, and praising God through it. Let's read Psalm 60 today. He will tread down our foes. Uh, Mictum of David, and so on and so forth. Oh God, you have rejected us, broken our defenses. You have been angry. Oh, restore us. You have made the land to quake. You have torn it open. Repair its breaches, for it totters. You have made your people see hard things. You have given us wine to drink that made us stagger. You have set up a banner for those who fear you, that they may flee to it from the bow, that your beloved ones may be delivered. Give salvation by your right hand and answer us. God has spoken in his holiness with exaltation. I will divide up Shechem and portion out the veil of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim is my helmet, Judah is my scepter, Moab is my wash basin. Upon upon Edom I cast my shoe, over Felicia I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have you not rejected us, O God? You did not go forth, O God, with our armies. O grant us help against the foe, for vain is the salvation of man. With God we shall do valiantly. It is he who will tread down our foes. Definitely a, an interesting tone to this psalm. Especially after that last one where he was talking about God's strength and God's supremeness, essentially. This one has a very, very interesting tone in this psalm. But it's one that I think we can relate to. Sometimes we don't feel like he's there with us sometimes he doesn't we don't feel like he's going into battle with us but ultimately he is likely he's been battling for us before we even knew there was a war raging so let's just go to him remember that he is there for us that he will take care of us he is supreme over everything and if we're believers if we're trusting in him he he has promised us that he will, that he is for us. He is not against us. That can mean a whole lot of things as far as what may happen to us. The best thing for us could be that we die and we go to heaven today, but that's, uh, God only knows, you know, what's best, honestly. So let's trust in him, I guess is what I'm, what I'm trying to say. I'll see you tomorrow for Psalm 61. Bye.